Does anybody else store their cast iron skillet in the oven and always forget that it's in there so when you turn the oven on and it's all nice and hot and ready to go and you open it to find out you have to take the skillet out. Hello everybody. Um, it's been a good long while since I posted for you guys. Um, there's a very good reason for that. Um, last week I spent the entire week pretty much with my mom and my dad up at their house because my dad fell and tore his ACL and had to have surgery. So I was up there helping her do that and just didn't take my camera because we were up at all hours of the night and just whew, crazy chaotic. But he's doing good. Surgery went well so he's just recovering now. So I'm back home. Um, Justin is officially off work um, until like mid-April I think. We don't have like, an exact date on it. So he's going to be home for a few weeks with me. The girls um, will be here on April 5th. We do have a definite um, C-section planned day. That is this paper right here. So la la la. Um, anyway, that's all of our instructions to get to the hospital and all that. So they will be born April 5th unless they go into labor before that. But I highly doubt that's going to happen. So in the meantime, we're just kind of trudging along. Uh, we have another appointment tomorrow morning early another OB then we'll meet with um, ultrasound then I'll meet with the doctor and then we have our pre-anesthesia meeting thing whatever that's for I mean I know what it's for but I don't know what they're gonna do um, after that so tomorrow will be pretty much spent most of the day most well the entire morning basically at the hospital getting everything ready to go um, I do have all the girls stuff set up I don't know that it's in its permanent home and I'm sure that I'll have everything set up the way that I think that I want it and then once they get here and we get started using it that we'll move it all around anyway so um, I do have a few more things to do in my bedroom just as far as getting that ready to do, ready to go a hundred percent but other than that we're I'm ready so ready um, so that's kind of what's been going on um, the last few weeks or well the last week I guess here because I haven't talked to you guys I think since my 35th update 35th week update and so that's been a little over a week um, I'll be 37 weeks this Thursday so not tomorrow but the next day because um, today is currently Tuesday the 27th sorry I had to look at calendar I can't remember um, I'm cooking supper I'm making cheeseburger spaghetti squash um, it's a little we have the uh, meal fit Thing. It's a it's an online recipe basically thing. You pay them it's like ten dollars a month and they send you weekly recipes of like it's like a breakfast and five meals and two snacks or something. It's like seven or eight if different things that you can make. And it's kind of based on the paleo diet. You can get full paleo or you can get not full paleo. Um, so it's just kind of a little bit healthier lifestyle and like it really kind of helped us uh, lose some weight. But I'm at the point now where. I'm just huge. I'm tired. <laughs> um, I am going to be making some homemade stretch marker remedy because um, I do have really, really, really terrible stretch marks and they're burning a lot. Hey, phone. Um, that's actually my reminder for my appointment tomorrow. Anyway, so I went to Walmart today and I got the um, cocoa butter body oil, uh, vitamin E body oil. And I'm going to mix that together with just some organic coconut oil and some drops of, if I can pick them up, frankincense, I don't know if you can read that, my oh, lighting in here is terrible, anyway, frankincense and lavender oils, um, these are not Young Living brand, but I do have some that are Young Living, I'm just trying to use, you know, use some, some stuff up, so I'm going to be making that here shortly, um, my skillet pan looks like it's ready to go, I decided to go ahead and use it since it was homeless, since I was using the oven, um, so yeah, that's, pretty much what's going on reason number a one million and five that I don't cook burn my arm right there yeah it's good fun I got the um, I usually get the like 97% lean meat from um, anywhere else um, but I bought my meat from Walmart this time because I was in Walmart already for a few other things that were specifically at Walmart and uh, so I just got supper stuff while I was there and now I get to I love over my arm because it burns. It looks better than it did. It was trying to bubble up, but I put some cold water on it. So anyway, hopefully that will get better soon. But mm, people wonder why I do not cook. Okay, so looking right here, I have the um, this cheeseburger spaghetti squash is um, it's ground beef, onion, and bacon um, 
sauteed all together, you know, you cook the meat up and all that. And then the spaghetti squash is cooking in the oven, and when that gets done, you strip all the noodle parts out of it. Sorry, my nose is really bad, I don't know why. So, the spaghetti squash has about six minutes left, hopefully. Um, it was a booger to cut, I had to get Justin to come cut it for me, because I couldn't physically cut the thing. Anyway, so I got that done, the meat is done. Um, so that's just all that together, a little bit of, uh, paprika and that Tony Shara's, um, all-purpose seasoning or whatever. Um, this one. So, and then just regular old paprika mixed in together with all of that, all sauteed together and cooked and let simmer for a few minutes. Sorry, my nose is itching like something terrible. Oh! Um, so anyway, so that part's done. When the noodles get done, I gotta get the, get that out, let it cool, scrape all the noodles out. I'll put the noodles in with the meat mixture here, um, and then scoop all that together. And then you say, it says to put it back into the squash, um, shells and add cheese and put it back in the oven for a little bit. So, I'll draw that, um, cause I don't really have any micro, uh, microwave oven safe bowls, I guess, to cook that in. So we'll put it back in there, put it back on the cookie sheet thing that it's on, and uh, finish it up. So we'll see how that goes. So I guess I'm going to start on my little concoction. Um, let me get one of my piggy bowls out. Come here, piggy bowl. Way up here in the top. There you go. I think I've showed you guys these dishes before, but I super, super love them. They have little piggies in them. <laughs> We found them at a uh, Chinese or an Asian um, supermarket in Auburn when we were up there one time. Okay. So the recipe that I'm following is from Pinterest on this. Yeah, you can't recognize my finger because I burned a hole in it. Um, and it just says use, okay, real listening, two tablespoons of coconut oil. 10 drops of frankincense, 10 of lavender, and store in a glass container. I'm also adding in the cocoa butter and the vitamin E um, to kind of help with the other. Because the vitamin E is supposed to be really, really good for your skin. Uh, my mom said when she was pregnant um, with my sister, she had really, my, my baby sister, she had really bad stretch marks. And she would put just straight vitamin E capsules on it, on her marks. And uh, she said that worked out, worked really, really well. So, kind of mixing some stuff together. This coconut oil is not, um, it's kind of in a solid. I don't know if it always comes in a solid, but what I have is kind of in a solid. Um, so, I'm going to melt that a little bit for a few seconds in the microwave. Get that melted down. Um, put some of those drops in. That's all melty. We're going to put our drops of lavender. Sorry, I know it's kind of dark in here. Lavender. That should be about 10. I don't know, it comes out really fast. Drops of frankincense. Should also be about 10. Vitamin E. Couple good squirts of that, and the cocoa butter, oil. It just does not want to open. Okay, pour some of that in there. Not quite as much as the vitamin E. Okay, so stirring that all together. Stir, 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 stir. Now we can't put our spoon back in our vitamin. Whatever. Right. Closing that. Now we're going to put this in the refrigerator for about 40 minutes is what it said. Oh. Sorry, my belly's hanging out. All my clothes are too small. They don't fit. Squash is done. Okay, so our spaghetti squash is cooked. Um, if you can see the steam coming off of it, it's freakishly hot. So I'm going to let that sit for about 10 minutes um, because this is good to go and it's all going to go back in the oven in just a minute anyway. Um, and it's cooking at 375. 
Uh, this cooked for 36 minutes is actually what this went in for. And you can see that like my halves are not very good halves. But this thing was a booger to cut. Let me just tell you, it was horrible. Um, so anyway, so when this is done, we're going to scrape all the noodles out of here, mix them into this, mix all that together, and then put this back into the shell, cover it in cheese, and put it back in the oven for about five minutes, five to seven minutes, and let that cheese get all melty, and it'll heat all this back up if it's lost any of its, you know, if it's cold again, and then we will be ready for supper. That looks so good. And we're gonna put our little pre-made cookies in the oven to cook. Dinner and a chef. Nope, I need that on. Sorry, I just broke my oven a little bit. Timer, that's what I wanted. I check those about six minutes because the oven's been on for a little while. And guys, dinner is ready. Alright guys and girls, um, we're going to go ahead and end the vlog here for today. Uh, supper was delicious. Oh my gosh, that's definitely a recipe that I will be making again. Um, super good. Uh, spaghetti squash doesn't actually taste like regular squash if you're like me and can't stand squash. I don't like squash. It's, I don't know if it's a texture thing or a flavor thing, but I don't like regular squash. But spaghetti squash, I will eat all day long. Um, so it's really good. And like spaghetti, if you just like switch out your noodles for like in regular spaghetti with spaghetti squash noodles. Mm, so good, so good. Um, so we have doctor appointment in the morning. Um, bump update uh, probably tomorrow or the next day after we find out a little bit more from the doctor. They're supposed to weigh the girls again tomorrow. They were supposed to do it last week too, but they didn't. So we'll see. And then we will send another update uh, when we get another update. So thanks for watching. Um, if you liked our video, if you want to know about uh, more about our girls, or watch along with us as they come. Click the subscribe button. You can hit your little bell. It'll notify you when we get um, when we post new things. I do try to post once a week. Like I said, last week was kind of a, a freak thing with my dad's accident and all that stuff. So it should be okay from now on. Um, but anyway, so we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.